right, I'm going to shoot a video today uh, showing some tips and tricks on um, using the pinpoint feature. Aircraft entered altitude zone. And uh, hopefully uh, be able to kind of teach you guys something that you didn't know. And uh, these are things I've learned from other people or just along the way messing around with the thing. Um, so I hope it is uh, helpful. Let's get airborne. Home point updated. Check map to confirm. Taking off. All right, we're just going to get up in the air here. And um, walk through some of these things. This is one of my favorite spots to fly. Um, <clears throat> all right, hopefully the um, sound is good on here. So the first things we're going to walk through is the pinpoint feature, um, and we'll go through how to set a pin, how to edit a pin. Um, we can edit color, location, lat long, or uh, lat lat latitude, longitude, altitude. Um, I'm going to show you some of the ways that I use the pin. All right, so let's get started with the first step, which is setting a pin. So if you look at the top left of your screen, of your controller screen, you'll see a blue diamond. And that is your pinpoint feature. And you know, I'm getting my stylus out here. So if we touch that, we'll show you what happens. So you've created a pin, but if I just reverse the drone, you'll notice that the pin is floating where the drone was. So let me show you that again. I'm going to delete this one. Actually, yeah, I'll we'll delete that. All right. So now, if I sit in this spot, and I'm going to go to the map, and now if I hit the pinpoint, okay, now if I go back to the map, and I look down, that pin's on the ground, okay? So the other thing I can do is I can set that same pin in the air like I did before. Okay. And then if I click on that pin, right, I click on it, it pulls up the map. I've got, <clears throat> I've got this um, pencil icon, right, right here. So I'm going to go to it. So I can change that to, you know, I can change the color of that pen. I like my general, my marking pens. I use blue, and I'll show you what I use um, other colors for. So I can actually move that pen with the latitude and longitude. So I can type something in here. So I'm just going to move it a little bit here. I'm going to change that 7, actually, and put 7, and then I'm going to do a 5, okay? We're going to see what it moves to. And you click on the other one to make it accept it. So you can see it moved it, but not very far. Uh, I'm going to move it a little bit more, actually. So I'm going to use my, so I'm using my minus. You can see. Oh, that's not moving very much. Okay. <laughs> it's a little slow. All right, so I'm going to do 7, 8. And that's going to move it. That should move it quite a ways. Yeah. So you can see that I moved it over here into the water, okay? So I'm going to delete that one real quick. All right, so I'm going to go back to the camera view, right? I've got a pin right out in front of me, okay? So I'm going to click on that pin. I'm going to edit it again. I'm going to do the altitude on this one, and I'm going to change it to zero and i did find that when you backspace it and put a zero in there it's kind of kind of wonky but eventually you can get it to accept it click on that again so now i'm going to close out of that go back to here and now my pin uh, is down on the ground okay so i have the, the first two that i set, set as well so now your pins don't have to be floating in the air right 
um, which is normally what happens when you set them from the drone. So the next thing we can do is let's go over here and let's just make a new pin, just kind of random. I'm going to place that on the map, okay? So then I'm going to go back to my camera view, and I want to find that pin that we just created, right? So if you look in the top uh, left corner where you've got the um, um, the diamond, if you hold that blue diamond and then you click check all pins, I can highlight any pin, okay? And if I deselect, so notice what happens in the top left of my screen. So you can see I have the blue diamond right now in the waypoints. If I click a pin, I get a new icon. That icon is the view pin icon. So I'm going to select my last pin, okay? I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to click on that view pin icon. Viewing pin point. And it's going to turn me and orient me to that pin. So if I want to go to one of my pins in my list or on my menu and highlight it, and then I go back to my camera view and I hit view pin, that's going to automatically face me to the drone, and then I can fly over to it. And I'll show you where that's helpful in just a second. All right, so one of the other things I use this for is, let's say I want to know a distance um, to a point. Let's say I'm over here, and I see this deer on the thermal. I zoom in, and I see something, right? There may even be something. <laughs> no. Okay, so I'm going to create a pin where I'm at. And if you notice, down here to the bottom left of my, let's get out of that. So right here down to the bottom left of my uh, compass, you can see it says 270, and there's a pin icon, and it says zero feet. So that's the distance uh, to my pin that I just made. Or, sorry, that's the distance, yeah, the distance to the pin I just made. Sorry, I'm distracted here. So now, if I fly over to the same spot, if I saw a deer right here, and I want to say, hey, how far did I see it? I can fly over here, and I can put another pin where that deer was. And you can see, um, which you don't even have to put a pin, you just have to get over this deer. Right? So I like to get over the deer. Uh, you know, let's say there's a deer right below me. Right? So now I'm 1,047 feet from that deer. Okay? And remember, I can, I can pin either here, which is up in the air, or I can go in the map, and I can hit the pin button again. Okay? So now, if I back up, I should have two pins, right? I have the one that I created in the um, in the map view right there, all right? Floating in space. And I have the one that I created on the ground. So now that I've created that pin on the ground, um, that brings me to kind of the next tip. So when we're up here, a lot of times we want to hit the pin from the camera view, which is fine. It's just going to put it up in the air. One of the things you can do is, let's say you get over an animal, you can go to the map view, hit the pin, and then go back to the camera view, and now you got a pin there. And you just move over to each animal, right? Go over to the map view, hit a pin, and you're just making a new pin wherever there's an animal, right? laying there on the ground or cars or whatever. And what this is going to mean is even though you've got to switch over to the map view, uh, and that's kind of annoying, <laughs> um, it saves you the trouble of having to, uh, if you make the pin from this view, setting, you know, dropping those altitudes down to zero to show you where there was an, an animal or a car or a lo a, a, an actual location. Because these pins, when they're floating in the air, they can be kind of, um, if you keep them for a long time, uh, in fact, I probably have some. If I just, um, you can see, if I just spin around, you see, I've been over on, you know, multiple locations in that direction, and um, I've still got those pins present, and they end up kind of just kind of messing up the horizon. So by putting them down on the ground, they're a little less of an eyesore.
So another thing I'll do is while I'm flying, uh, just if I'm laying a path, a flight path while I'm doing like a grid search, and I'll just make a turn here, kind of simulate that. Probably should be doing north south, huh? But we're just making a grid here, and let's say we're doing a large property and we're. Um, it's even worse when you're in a, like a sea of trees There's just trees everywhere, um, or pine or, or maybe it's open fields and everything looks the same. So you get to this point and, um, what I like to do is, uh, as I'm going, click a pin. And if you hold this pin button up here to the top, I can change that. I can go to that pin that I just created, right? Highlight it change it to purple and I use the purple to kind of just define my flight path history and I'll do that as I go and another thing you can do is if you go back in there and you click purple right there then I can go as I'm going again and you can see the pin is still purple and I can click pins as I go and they're all purple right and then when I find, let's say I find, find something I want to look at down here in the ground with my thermal. Then I can click that again. Click blue. And set a pin there. Okay. So now if I look back at my map, I've got pins for my flight path mark markings. And pins for my um, objects of interest or you know, points of interest. All right, I think one of the last things that I wanted to talk about was um, the custom button settings that are available for using pins. Um, personally, I do not have any of these set. I'm using, um, I've got settings for things, so it doesn't show it, but my down, left, and right on the 5D button are actually for my light. So I don't have those set for anything else, but let's just go in here and, and look at what's available. If you go over to the right, slide over to the right, and you click on app, you'll find that you can do add point, delete point, select next pinpoint, select previous pinpoint, and view pinpoint. Um, my, my thing is, is that doesn't, I don't use the pins enough that I need to have a hotkey set up. Um, but just letting you know they're there if you want them, um, depending on your usage. Um, those might, that might come in handy, but it's not really something that I, I need or, or need to set up.